Diversity in Africa, interestingly, should be pushing physicians, if anything, not in the direction of generalizing patients who fall under American racial categorization as Black or African American. It should be pushing them in the direct opposite direction. It should be driving them to demand personal level genomic data because Africa isn't a bottleneck population. For Africa, some of these groups have not intermarried for over a hundred thousand years. So a person of European ancestry and a person of East Asian ancestry are likely to be more similar genetically to each other than a person of say East African and a person of West African ancestry. In the American medical system, those two patients of recent African ancestry will be treated as if they're members of the same homogenous group. This will change how they are medicated, how their pain is treated how they are listed for things like organ transplant. But diversity in Africa, not just at the population level, at the individual level, is dramatically higher than any other population.